Hey everybody, I just wanted to check in with you sort of mid-summer, maybe as you're wrapping your summer up toward the end of summer, um, just to check in a little bit about a couple of things. First, I want everybody, I want you all to look at your bow grip. I know we've worked a lot on this, but can everybody, can you recheck that you've got your second finger over your thumb, opposite your thumb, that all of your fingers are curved around the bow and that your pinky is sitting on top. All right, it's very important to remind you that your bow grip should look pretty much the same in the middle of the bow, at the tip of the bow, and at the frog. No fancy, funny business. You don't need a whole lot of finger motion. The finger motion is to enhance the bow stroke. It's not finger motion for its own sake. So that'll come into play when you change bow and you want a really smooth bow change. to cushion the string, the bow change. All right, the other thing I would like to refresh your memory about is bow tracking. Um, we spent a, long, a lot of time talking about how far the bow should be from the bridge to get a di uh, different kinds of sound. But most important to remember is that it should be parallel to the bridge at all times. So you need to adjust your stance and your setup to make sure that, that you can do that at the tip, in the middle is easy, and at the frog, that it doesn't steer a different direction. I'm just going to give you a little bit of example of some Bach and I want you to watch um, hopefully the stability of the bow grip and the um, parallel, that I'm parallel to the bridge and how I move um, closer and farther from the bridge for a slightly different sound. Okay, see you all soon.